Hi, I'm Lucy, and this is my project number four, Network for CS50 Web Development with JavaScript and Python course. As you can see, we're on the home page for the logged in user, Lucy Admin. Here, I can create a text post on my social network. I can click post, and this, this post will appear at the top of the page as it is the most recent post. I can also click on the name of a user to be taken to their profile, which displays the number of followers, the number of people that Lucy is following, and also, as this is not the user currently logged in, I am also able to follow and unfollow according to whether I am already following them. So, if I click unfollow, you will see that number of followers has reduced, and if I click follow, it restores back to two. This page also shows all posts uh, created by this user Lucy, and it has the exact same functionality as the all post page. If I click on the name of the logged in user, I will be taken to their profile. And as you can see, this is slightly different as there is no button to follow or unfollow as the logged in user is not able to follow or unfollow themselves. If I click the link here following, it will take me to the all of the posts of the people that I follow. So as you can see here, I have some posts from Lucy, from Sarah, Felipe and others. This, this is a limited view of all of the posts on the website, but as I said, it only shows those that Lucy Admin is currently following. So this page is also only visible to users that are signed in. If I now log out, you can see at the top, we no longer have the following link. I'm just gonna log back in. So as you know, this page is displaying all posts on the website. This can be accessed from clicking the all posts link in the top, as well as it being the initial page that loads when the user logs in. As you can see, the most recent post is at the top and all the posts are arranged in reverse chronological order. This page also displays the number of likes which each post has. And this page also displays 10 posts per page. And if there are more than 10 posts, you can see that we have a pagination area. So if I click next, it will take me to the next 10 posts. And as you can see up here also it's changed the URL and you can keep going to see more and more posts. This pagination is on every single page that has anything to do with posts. So as you can see, we're following as well. It is here, but it's only, um, it only sort of shows more than one page if there's more than 10 posts. But the last two pieces of functionality we have is edit post and like post. So first I'm going to show you edit post. If I click this edit button, for any of Lucy admin, this is the user who's logged in, I am able to change what is currently written. So if I change to, I'm having a horrible day, I am now going to update using JavaScript and not a full reload of the page. So as you can see, this has now been up updated with no reload of the page. If I do reload the page, you will see that this edit has stayed in place as I have updated the database using JavaScript. I've also added an extra functionality which allows you to make some changes. And then if you click cancel, it will delete those changes. Another piece of functionality I'm just gonna show. If I change the functionality so that every single post had edit, the, the expected functionality is that I only show the edit button for my post. If I try to edit, say someone manages to change the, the, the functionality in some way. If I try to edit a post that is not mine, you will see that as I try to save it, it says you do not have permission to do this and it's also removed the edit button for that post. The final piece of functionality that I'd like to show you is the like and unlike button. So as you can see, these posts have zero likes. I can choose to like the post. I'm going to like every post on this page. <laughs> and you can see it's updating the number of, of likes on the page without doing a full reload of the page. If I do reload the page, you can see that all of these changes have stayed in place as I have updated the database in the background using JavaScript. And finally, if I click on a post that I've liked, I'm also able to unlike it. 